Hey guys, it is Katie from NLFX Professional. I am here with you to talk about the EH504 Wi-Fi. We are really gonna dig into the details and the specs of this projector. It is one of the newest ones from Optima. In my opinion, it is one of the best for mobile DJs, and I'm about to tell you why. First of all, we have this awesome motion monogram here from Mike Anderson at livingmotionmonograms.com. He was nice enough to send me over a few to demo. So how do we get this monogram to project onto the projector without an HDMI cord or a VGA cord? Well, the 504 is enabled with Wi-Fi, so it's actually quite simple. And I am going to show you how to do that. We're going to escape out of here first, and we're going to connect everything for you. So as you can see in the top here, it's actually connected to my phone currently. There's one device connected. I'm going to show you how to connect those in a little bit, but let's, let's do the computer right now. So the EH504 emits its own Wi-Fi signal. So essentially you're going to connect to it just like you would any other Wi-Fi network. You're going to go down, HDCast Pro, select it. It's going to connect on a Mac. I'm not really sure on a PC how this works, but on a Mac, you get this little screen up here. You're going to go and connect to HDCast Pro. It's really that simple. So, <clears throat> we're going to open this up. The projector's a little crooked, and I'm going to show you guys how to keystone here in just a few minutes. That's it. Make sure your slide is on loop. Otherwise, it will stop after this first one. I'm going to go view. I'm going to go down to loop. Make sure that's checked. And if we get the mouse out of the way here, this will go away. And the remote for the projector has a laser pointer on it, which is really cool as well. So if you want to project this at your weddings, guys, um, it, it's, it's really that simple. What we're going to do is, Kat, I'm going to have you shut the lights off one more time. Let's say you want to project, let's say that screen's not there and you want to go over here just a little bit. So the projector is now at an angle. The cool thing about this projector is that you can keystone it. It's four corner keystoning, um, vertical and horizontal shift as well. So on the remote, you hit menu, big blue button. Okay, you're gonna go back over to display really hard for me to read right now. Geometric correction. There's the hor yeah, I'm going to put it over here just so you guys can see. There's a horizontal keystone, vertical, Auto. I have tried auto. I honestly, it, it doesn't work as well as doing it yourself. So I would suggest going in and doing it this way. So we're going to move it back over and see how it has like that trapezoid shape to it. We're going to fix that. We're going to go to horizontal. And as you can see on the bottom of the screen, it's giving you numbers. That's the degrees in which it is fixing it. I may have to do that so I can see a little bit better. There we go. You can go this way or this way. You're just going to get it until it's straight. You're going to hit menu again. And now we're going to fix the bottom. I can tell it's not straight. There we go. <clears throat> we're going to do the four corners. We're going to go to the bottom corner because you can see that's the corner that's not straight. 
We're actually going to bring it out just a little bit. Bring this one in. And really, you can just play with it until you get it exactly where you want it. And I'm doing it all from a remote. So I am not connected to anything. So if you wanted to, you could put your projector on the stand, turn it on, and do all of this while it is up in the air being projected onto the wall that you want. So as you can see, when we bring it back center, that is the different keystoning that we did. Now, let's say you want to move it for whatever reason. We're going to go back into menu. Go back down to geometric correction and we're going to reset it. That's going to take all of the changes that you just did and reset them back as if you're projecting straight on. Perfect. It's that easy. So we are going to escape out of this. We're just going to close this down real quick and then I'm going to show you how to do it from the mobile phone. Here we are. We have my iPhone. There is an app. There's an app for that. There's an app for everything these days. So Optima has its own app. It is called the HD Cast Pro. I already have it on my phone, but I am going to walk you through how to get the app, download it, and connect it to the projector. So we are going to go to App Store. I know where it is. There it is. Okay. App Store. Search. If you start typing in Optima, it's going to show up for you. The HD Cast Pro. We're going to click on it. That is the app right there. As you can see, I've always already downloaded it, so all I have to do is open mine. We're going to go back to our main screen, go to the app, and open it. I disconnected earlier, that's why I did that. We are going, once we're in this app, you're going to click on HDCast Pro, and it's going to connect to your projector. Guess you got to hit it. Here we are. This is the main screen. Okay, so as you can see up here, it's connected to my phone. I did, however, forget to mention that the first time you download the app, you have to put in the password. That password is right here. Now you want to make sure that your projector is on Otherwise, your app and your computer will not pick up on the Wi-Fi signal that it's giving off. Once you're in the app, you have many, many, many options. You can choose a photo. We'll do that one. And it is wirelessly transmitting the photo from your phone to the projector and projecting it on the screen. You can also Use the monograms from your phone and project that way as well. You just have to have them in a file on, in Dropbox. Go into Dropbox and then upload that file. And you can have the monogram on your phone while you use your computer for your DJing, if that's what you choose to do. There is a camera, which is Live View. Now, I think this is a really cool tool um, if you wanted to if you had videos playing throughout the night or the monogram on the wall and let's say people are just getting crazy fun on the dance floor you could literally go into your app real quick and go up above your DJ booth and project the people having fun and dancing on the dance floor you know they'll probably point at the screen and go yay look at me so that in my opinion that's that's pretty cool right there Next one, music. I need music. 
I don't have any on this phone, unfortunately. But it will play right off your playlist. You have videos, documents, you can search the web. Um, there is a split screen option on here as well. So the picture, the live view mode is on the top left and then you have four different screens. Um, you can put four different pictures on the screens via the app. So it, it's, it's really just that simple. Now, we're going to disconnect from all that. I'm going to get into the specs of this thing. Um, the 504 Wi-Fi is 5,000 lumen. What that means is it's the brightness of your projector, okay? On the other end, you have contrast ratio, which is another huge factor in determining the brightness of the projector. The 504 <laughs> has a contrast ratio of 15,000 to one. So what that means is the darkest part of the screen which would be this black right here, is in the, the lightest part of the screen. The lightest part, the white, is 15,000 times brighter than the darkest part of the screen. So you may have a projector at, let's use the 515 for example, uh, 5,500 lumen, which is brighter, but the contrast ratio is only 10,000 to one, which means Essentially, it's, if you put them side by side, you're not going to be able to, to tell that much of a difference between the two. The uniformity of this projector, it means, is at 70%. That means that the difference between the contrast ratio over the entire screen is only going to be no less than 30% different in, across the entire screen. Now, the 504 does have a motorized focus, which you can use on the remote or right here. That makes it bigger. And you can move that down. And let's see, there's the focus right there. So let's say I'm here, I want to make it really big, and I want to focus it in. You just turn this little dial in front. I'm going to actually turn the, I don't want to blind you guys. This right here. Okay, that's your manual focus. And then there's also the motorized where you can actually go into the menu and do it that way. Lens shift, that is also, the lens is gonna move up and down or side to side. That is in the menu. It is called image shift. You can move the image this way, this way, or that way. And that's basically just to center your image on the screen that you're using. The vertical and horizontal lens shift on the 504, you can go vertically negative 30% to positive 50% lens shift. Um, and that's how much, how many degrees it moves more or less. Uh, horizontally, it's, it's plus or minus 10%, so it is going to move more vertically for you than it is going to horizontally. I have notes, guys. I, I, I spent like 48 hours learning this stuff for you. Now, I already showed you the keystone correction. Um, that was on my notes 
to, to do, but I do want to tell you the degrees. The 504 is uh, plus or minus 30 degrees, and horizontal is plus or minus 30 degrees as well. Now, the auto and compatible modes with the 504 is, is strictly auto. Um, which is which means that there's aspect ratios of 16 to 9, 4 to 3, and then also the auto. So when I hook it up to the computer, actually I think I'm going to turn it on and show you guys again. It is going to automatically decide which aspect ratio to use. So again, I'm connecting to the Wi-Fi network, going into the HDCast Pro. It's crooked and it's really bothering me. It has these little legs on the bottom too. You can move up one side or the other. All right, now we're straight. What were we talking about? I totally forgot. <laughs> My uh, OCD took over with the, with the straightness of it. Oh, auto incompatible. So when I hook it up, it is going to automatically decide which is the best aspect ratio for the computer that I'm using. Now you can manually go in and change it if you wish. which is under format. Okay, there's auto, four to three, 16 to nine, which as you can tell, it automatically um, chose 16 to nine for this computer. LBX, native, and auto once again. So I get asked the question a lot, what is the difference between the 504 and the 515? For a mobile DJ, this projector is perfect. You have the Wi-Fi, no running, you're not running cords, you have the remote. It's perfect for static and motion monograms. Um, the difference is, is the 515 is more for uh, professional use. You can, it has all of these features, um, compatibility-wise aspect ratio. The only thing it doesn't have is the Wi-Fi enabled. But you can buy a dongle for it, stick it into the USB slot, and you're good to go there. The, the one difference is the aspect ratio. It is compatible. So in addition to all of these, it can also connect to its own workstations, which would be great for um, larger venues, uh, installs. Being a mobile DJ, you don't necessarily need that unless you know how to work with those programs. Um, so I, I hope I can answer that question for you guys. I, for a while there, I was like, really, what is the difference? And I was trying to find it forever. And I thought it was just the imports on the back. And it's not imports, inputs on the back. And it's not. Um, the big thing is, is that it's, it's compatible to any type of workstation. This one is not. This one is 16 and 9, 4 to 3, and auto. That's it. Now, if you have any questions on that, let me know. I don't really want to go into the, the really depth of what a workstation is. Um, but type a message, send me a message, and I can try to explain it a little bit better via text than here in this video. I really, what I really want to do with this is show you guys how this works, how you can connect to your computer and your phone and the brightness of it, which is the lumens, the contrast ratio, uh, which is also, you want to look at that when you are um, thinking about buying a projector. Um, the lamp life, I had someone ask me about the lamp life. It's 3,000 hours on this bulb. Uh, replacement bulbs, I believe, are 349 map on that. This projector, the map price is 1399 as well. Uh, it comes with the remote, the projector, uh, disk, user manual, P 
power cord and a VGA cord. I think that is it. So if you have any questions, let me know. We do have this projector on sale through the end of the month. Uh, I can't say pricing right here, but if you shoot me a quick message, I will get you the pricing. And if you have any questions on it, let me know. Uh, I would be happy to answer them for you. So until next time, bye guys.